There are hundreds of writing systems in the world. Some of these are commonly known, like our Latin alphabet, the Arabic alphabet, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Chinese characters. But what do you know about the Georgian alphabet? This is the Georgian alphabet. There are three different variants of the Georgian alphabet, namely Asom Tavruli, Noshori, and Mkhedruli. The first two are older and are now in principle only used by the church. The Mkhedruli, on the other hand, is the youngest variant and is used for the modern Georgian alphabet. The same is true for this poem. The Latin script is based on the Greek alphabet. Although the resemblance seems to be far away, this is also true for the Georgian alphabet. The order of the Georgian alphabet therefore largely corresponds to that of the Greek alphabet. For Georgian sounds that did not occur in Greek, extra letters have been designed and placed at the back of the alphabet. Thus the Georgian alphabet has a total of 33 letters. The further origin of the script is unclear but there are strong indications that it was only introduced after the Christianization of Georgia, around the year 337 AD. The first written source in the Georgian alphabet dates from the year 430 AD and was found in Palestine. The advantage of the Georgian alphabet, if you want to learn it, is that the relationship between sounds and letters is almost one to one. This means that almost every letter corresponds to one Georgian sound and vice versa. This is in contrast to, for example, English, where several letters can express a certain sound, or different sounds can be written using one and the same letter. In English, for example, you can spell the sound E in many different ways. Just look at the words real, speed and thief. In Georgian, you would only spell this sound in one way. You've just seen how the Georgian script works. You'll learn more about other scripts in our other videos.